Today we have a Isuzu 3LD1 three cylinders, a little diesel, very nice engine, and uh, we're going to do an oil change. Engine oil is lifeblood of the engine, and uh, yeah, let's get everything done. All specs, everything you need to know. I will show you how I do it. Yeah, let's get started. And first, let's warm up the engine to the operating temperature. Make sure engine is ready. to dump it for better drain let's pull the dipstick up to let the air enter the crankcase I have everything's ready for an oil change now we need a oil can to collect the used engine oil 24 mil socket to remove the drain plug there we go nice and easy there we go beautiful yeah always inspect the drain plug washer make sure it doesn't have any cracks cuts replace it if it's needed let oil to drain completely let's put it back always Start it by hand. All right, and snag it with a wrench. And then torque it. Always torque the drain plugs. Okay, good. I torque to 40 foot pounds. Big drain plug. Good enough. All right, let's remove the engine oil filter let's pull the dipstick out the other side it will be easier to place our little container underneath pipe pliers just turn it loose like that they need it much be easy and and turn it by hand make sure that oil will drain into the container here we go and catch that oil I want to spill it and make a mess let's clean the oil filter housing so it's all clean no debris nice I like to wash it with the brake clean here we go and wipe it with a clean paper towel like that beautiful I'm going to use Baldwin B179 oil filter a good quality I don't have the OEM one and uh, yeah let's apply a little bit of fresh engine oil to the rubber gasket like that that's good enough we cannot fill the filter pre-filled because it mounted horizontally Okay, there's uh, all instructions how to install the filter pretty clear pretty easy let's go install the filter yeah everything what we did wipe the housing oil the rubber o-ring tied it by hand and after the gasket touches the base one full turn check for oil leaks and uh, don't use any tools to tie the filter because you might damage Okay, let's put it in, like that, fill the shreds, let's start it, and as soon as you touch it, and you want to full turn, like that. 
There you go. Nice. If you have any questions, comments, critics, suggestions, recommendations, yeah, concerns, put everything down under the video in the comment section below. Here's the old oil filter we just removed, same B179. And uh, yeah, according to the manufacturer's specifications, each SUSE recommends us to use 10W30 engine oil. We're going to use that. And um, this engine takes 6.3 liters. It depends and varies from the um, year and the application, but that's what I'm going to do. I'll put a six liters, check the level, and then top it up to 6.3. That should be enough. We're going to use a Shell Rotella 10W30 engine oil, heavy duty diesel engine oil. Very good stuff. Let's clean the area around the filler cap. All right, let's remove the filler cap like that. Put it aside. Get the funnel ready. Check the engine oil level, pull the dipstick out, wipe it, put it back in, and remember our oil filter will take some. And uh, as you can see here, we're right at the top mark over there. Yeah, beautiful. All right, we'll start the engine, I run it for a minute, let the oil to circulate through the system then shut it off let it sit for a few minutes oil will settle and then we'll check the engine oil level again okay put the fuel cap back turn it up all right let's start the engine Okay, let's start the engine, check for leaks. Engine is idling, run it for a minute or two, and uh, we have oil pressure on the light turn off, oil pressure build up, which is good, and we only have 2021 hours on the engine, we we'll check the leaks underneath, around the drain plug, it's good, and the oil filter housing, Shut it off, let it sit for a few minutes, oil will settle down, and we'll check the oil level again. All right, let's check the engine oil level. Pull the dipstick out, wipe it out, put it back in, and see what we have. Engine has been sitting, not running for five minutes, and we right there. Two thirds of the dipstick, slightly over the half. Beautiful, we're all good to go. Yeah, no leaks. I like to make a record when I did an oil change. 20, 21 hours. A little hard work in Isuzu 3LD1 is ready to get back to work. Thank you so much, guys, for your time watching this video. If this video is helpful, put a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.